What kind of advice would you give to somebody who's in that situation where they may have even stricter parents about school and they don't want to hear anything about their music? What advice would you have for them as they're still pursuing their goals? Because you did it, bro. You really you have really did it and you're still nowhere near. I'm sure where you ultimately want to be, but you did probably the, the hardest part of this. It's man, it's it's crazy. You you can't see, man. I got this from Will Smith, man. Mm-hmm. Will Smith did this interview right for Bad Boys Three or something. He said, "Like your dream, like mother, your dream is your dream, man." And, and it sounds, it's going to sound crazy. You know what I'm saying? And like you, it's pursuing your dream is lonely, man. Like you can't, you're not gonna have motherfuckers rallying with you. At the very beginning, like I remember dropping videos flopping. Like most of my videos were flopped. Like I would drop 30 videos in a week. Jeez. And maybe one or two videos did all right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I just kept kept adding, kept adding, kept adding. And when I motherfuckers was, you know, when you post shit, you know, when you post it on Instagram and, and you ain't getting no type of love, nobody's commenting on, you know, nobody's mm-hmm. liking it. I didn't give a fuck, man. That just let me know, okay, I gotta cut better. I got to make something that's really going to make you that's going to make you want to react to it, man. Right. And it's like you have to it's it's almost like you when I look back at my older shit, I thought I was dropping the best videos on the goddamn planet. Mm-hmm. Now that I look <laughs> back on it, those videos, <laughs> not all of them were that great, right. but it's just you have to have the belief. You almost have to be delusional i say it all the time you know what i'm saying yeah, you almost yeah. have to be delusional because i was just i wanted it so bad i was i just kept at it kept at it kept at it and then when eventually it did hit i was already in the mode like when somebody was i remember somebody was like oh uh i yo that video you dropped was a banger mm-hmm. and i was like which video they were like the one you just dropped they had like two million views I'd already made six other videos, like, cause wow. you know, somebody will get a video and it'll go viral and they're, they're watching that video. Like yeah. happy you and the, the way this internet moved mm-hmm. by the time that hit, by the time they find out that hit, you got to be on your other hit, making it. You know what I'm saying? You can't that's get far. caught up. That's fire. That's and far. that's what it taught me. That's why I'm so blessed with TikTok. TikTok taught me that you can't fall in love with each product. Like each product people want to, Every project to be their baby, man. Sure. Like, sure. I love this so much. I want to work, make it perfect, make it perfect, make it perfect. Drop that shit, drop that shit, drop that shit. Refine it, refine it, refine it. Mm-hmm. Get so cold at it, man, where you just, you can create, you create. The hardest part for me is making it. Like, you'll get an idea. That's mm-hmm. a good idea. Mm-hmm. But the I, the way to make it is what takes time. Once you make so much, once you start making so much, you get good at making it, man. And then it's just like, you can drop it without being hurt. You got to have thick skin yeah. and being thick skin and being consistent and being. And that's what if, if it's because if you're consistent, bro, I'm telling you, people, that is the key. It's like that old saying from Erica Badu. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Like you, you also want to make sure because this is the first time that somebody's going to be watching this content when you drop it. This may be the first video and you obviously don't want to put anything out there that is um, significantly less than what you're capable of doing. But at some point you have to make some kind of peace between the whole quantity and quality conversation. Where where did you kind of like have that, that crossroads where you're like, you know what? They may not all be this one that did X amount of views, but shit, I have to continue to keep building on. If I want to make it in, in this time I was thinking about social media, I'm like, if I want to make it in social media, it's going to be fucking hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So if I can't, make it in social media and I can't do college at the same time. If that's too hard for me, I'm not destined. I'm just, I can't do it then. I'm not, I'm destined not to make it. Damn. That's heavy. That's heavy. So the Curtis King podcast, a podcast for music producers, thinkers, and creatives alike. Listen for a new episode every Monday at the Curtis King podcast.com.